first uh, announcement that we had done two years back uh, was for launch of kiosk banking services with for State Bank of India as a banking correspondent uh, with them. Now that was more focused uh, in two parts. In the urban areas, it was to enable retailers who had uh, web access, like a computer, to accept deposits and open bank accounts, no frill bank accounts. No frill bank accounts meant that a person didn't have to maintain any minimum balance. Uh, he could have uh, up to a certain amount in the bank account, uh, which could go up to 50,000 rupees. Okay, could withdraw amount up to 10,000 rupees. Uh, okay, and he could walk into a retailer and do these transactions. The, the person could also do money transfer by depositing money with the retailer and the money will go into another bank account. So that was a uh, classical uh, banking correspondent model to focus more on the urban area. Yes, in the rural area also we started appointing similar retailers who can uh, act as uh, acceptors of cash that people could come and open bank accounts with them. This was essentially to promote opening bank accounts in rural areas also. What we are doing now is a second step to that. We have also uh, become a provider of Ox wallet, a mobile wallet to SBI, which is a recent thing. Very soon uh, we will be launching uh, the mobile wallet. It will be called SBI Movie Cash. Now, we have done some soft launches of uh, this wallet already. Now, the wallet is essentially linked to your bank account, uh, to your mobile number, okay? And there is no paperwork, uh, there is no finger biometric required, which is required in kiosk banking. Now, wallet accounts are aimed both at the urban and the rural areas. In rural areas, they will be used for receiving money, which our uh, villagers receive from international uh, remittance like from Gulf countries or they receive from cities. People from villages go and work in cities and they go work outside and uh, their families have to receive money. They don't have bank accounts and therefore they receive money through cash channels such as Western Union or uh, um, MoneyGram and uh, etc. Now what this will do is uh, money will come into a State Bank of India account from where it will flow into the wallet account. What Oxygen will do is appoint retailers in villages, have Oxyshan machine, this is a terminal, which the villagers, which a retailer will use. Money uh, accounts will be opened for the villagers by the retailer, okay? And opening account is mobile number and his uh, or her uh, address verification, which a retailer can easily do in a village, you know, because he's, he's right there. So once that account is opened, there is no need for putting any balance in that account. Okay? Now money comes into that account. And then the person who receives money gets an SMS. He can, he has then the option of going to the retail, withdrawing all of it or withdrawing part of it. Because the money is lying in a State Bank of India account for him. So this is a game changer. Today when the money comes, you have to draw all cash. When the money will come and through this machine it can be dispensed, it can be dispensed in parts as per the need of uh, the user. So this really will facilitate a retailer in a village to help uh, maintain the accounts through mobile wallets and uh, give out money. Also do the transactions like topping of mobile phones or uh, you know DTH is also becoming very very popular in the villages and the DTH service uh, is is penetrating everywhere you can do DTH top up also without having to go anywhere so we believe that this will promote savings it will bring uh, banking transactions at the doorstep of uh, of a customer in, in rural area and will greatly help in popularizing banking services later on because banks intend to offer other banking services like loans small loans other assistances very importantly, as you know, uh, there are subsidies that uh, uh, government pays and there are other payments that people receive like Narega payments or uh, payments uh, for pension. In, in some rural areas of Tamil Nadu, we have, uh, we have done a pension uh, disbursement, okay, electronic benefit as they call, and uh, we will be doing it through these machines. So these machines will help us popularize these services and bring them uh, to the uh, user at a very low cost and at the convenience of their doorstop.
also you know retailers um, are selling goods they sell goods and they have cash with them every day they are, they have cash and when they know that they are receiving money into their account okay from where this money is being dispensed they will keep that cash and give it because the retailer is earning for dispersing the so dispensing the cash okay so it allows the retailer to rotate his own cash in the system okay so a uh, retailer will maintain uh, whenever they have to accept money for a deposit they have to have a positive balance with us prepaid positive balance whenever they give out money they get a credit so when they are giving money out of their own cash they get a credit in the system which they can use for accepting money when people deposit money so it actually becomes a cycle for deposit and withdrawals uh, which uh, allows a retailer also to use his cash more efficiently so uh, i think oxy mobi cash for sbi is a more um, uh, i would say versatile and a more targeted towards small users okay uh, kiosk banking requires you to have a pc terminal okay here is this is a small terminal which costs less than 100 dollars is less is 5000 6000 rupees okay where the pc and uh, bringer biometric and everything else you also need a broadband access uh, for operating an internet access here you have a sim card which is a data card which costs nothing these days okay and it can be placed anywhere so you have flexibility to use this machine from the home the villager when he closes his shop he is sitting at his home he can do it from there also so this machine gives a better more flexibility and sbi mobi cash is going to be more and more used for reaching out to millions of people kiosk banking has a limitation because it costs it it's more money required uh, for investment here investment is very small investment uh, by the retailer rupees, yeah is only 6000 rupees whereas pc and internet access and everything else costs more money and besides that you need to know how to connect and learn uh, you have to know how to operate an internet uh, on a pc this is just a simple use to take to other banks uh, state bank of india has the largest reach and i think uh, um, also is a bank of uh, substance is being the biggest bank in india i said it's more appropriate to start with them and uh, now uh, other banks are also getting connected through national payment corporation of india so i don't think there is going to be an issue if somebody wants to send money from uh, another bank into an sbi mobi cash account so you may have an account with bank of baroda you can still send money into sbi mobi cash Went. So, a, a receiver has a registration done as a mobile wallet, and it doesn't make sense for a receiver to have multiple mobile wallets. One mobile wallet is enough. It's essentially to receive. Cash. We have a we have a plan, and our plan is to install these terminals. Uh, we are calling the ATM terminals in 250,000 locations, 250,000 locations over the next three years. Okay. and uh, this is going to cover all kinds of rural areas and maybe small towns as well it doesn't have to be only we are not defining it by 2000 and below um, uh, village it could be all kinds of uh, rural uh, areas and small towns yeah